Jesus, you came for the wounded, for the hurting, for the lost, and for the lonely you came. Jesus, you came. Oh, come all ye faithful, thou be Savior, come let us adore the one who came for us. Glory in the highest, praise the name of Jesus, our King is Hello and welcome to Live the Life Church. I'm Pastor Steve. Thank you for being here with us today. And Merry Christmas. Or maybe you're watching this at a later time. We hope you're doing well. What a special time of year it is. It seems this year so many people started their Christmas early, pulling out the lights and the decorations even before Thanksgiving. The shelves at the stores started emptying out early as well. Delivery trucks racing up and down the streets just to make sure that that perfect gift was ready and waiting for you under the tree. Have you thought about why we give gifts at Christmas? The easy answer to that is we all give gifts at Christmas because we love people. We love those people in our lives. We love the fact that they're there for us in the good and the bad. We love them because maybe they're part of our family. Maybe they're our children. But you know, 2,000 years ago, there was a gift that came into this world his name was Jesus. He was the first gift at Christmas. And the gift that God gave us through Jesus was a special, a very special gift. It was the gift because he came into this world to be the light and the love, the peace and the joy that we need. 
we need now more than ever, I believe, in our lives. You know, during that time, there were three wise men who came, and they brought gifts to Jesus. They brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The gifts Jesus received were significant because they were both practical and spiritual. The gold, obviously, for the reason that we all know, it was very precious. It was very expensive. It still is today. But in that day and time, it represented kingship. Kings were adorned with gold. He also brought frankincense. Frankincense was a like salve, a, a balm that they would put on uh, wounds, scratches, cuts, and things to heal that. A high priest used it in the temples. It symbolized that Jesus is our high priest. And thirdly, myrrh, which was a pain reliever, essentially uh, like a Tylenol. It symbolized Jesus as suffering servant or the Lamb of God. You see, the wise men brought these gifts because it was their response to the coming king, and they were full of joy. They were overjoyed, really, because Jesus was their prophesied Lord and Savior. And we find this in Matthew chapter 2, verses 10 through 12. When the star, when they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary. They bowed down and worshiped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. How did you feel when you opened the perfect gift, the one that you'd been waiting for, the one that maybe you hinted towards, even left maybe your laptop with a screen print of that? How did you feel when you give the perfect gift, when you gave that to someone that you loved? When you watched them pull that bow off, when you watched them unwrap that package and open it to see the joy, the elation on their face. Yeah, you see, Jesus is the perfect gift given to us from God. And God so loved us so much that the first gift that he wanted to give to us was his own son, Jesus. And there's a scripture that we always, I probably learned the first in my life, maybe you did too. And if you've never heard it, I want you to hear it for the first time. It says, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. You can find that in John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. So if you're watching this, know God's heart for you was to give you his perfect gift, which was his one and only son. He wants you to feel the joy of knowing his son, a perfect gift to you today. And if you're here with me, if you're listening to this right now, I would love to give you the opportunity to receive that gift of Jesus into your life on this day. You see, no matter whether it's Christmas Day or any other day of the year, it's the perfect day to receive Jesus Christ. So I would invite you, if you would, just pray with me right now. If you need to receive him as your Lord and Savior, maybe this is your first time. Maybe you are renewing that relationship. Let's pray together and invite him into our hearts and our lives today. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Jesus. We know that you gave him to us as the perfect gift into our lives. He is the joy, he is the peace, and he is the love that always will, will be everything we need. And God, I thank you for those who are receiving him today as your perfect gift into this world. I pray, God, that they will find him as that joy, love, and peace. And Lord, as we move from this point in our lives to see more of who you are, I pray that Jesus will constantly and continually be the love, the peace, and the joy. We ask your blessing over all of our lives, our homes, and our families today and every day. In Jesus' name we pray, and everybody says amen. Well, I want to thank you for watching uh, if you made the decision to follow and accept Jesus Christ today, would you go out and DM us on our social media sites? You can go to our website and, at ltl.church, and there you can stay connected with us, and we'd love to be a part uh, of your life, and we'd love for you to be a part of our family. So Merry Christmas, and God bless you. That's a wrap. Good job, everybody.